Hi everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how you can install Y Data Synthetic in your computer like in no time. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a Conda environment. I'm assuming you already have Conda installed. If you don't, or if you don't understand at all what I'm talking about, check out the video where I explain uh, zero to hero uh, procedure. Okay. So to install our environment, we're going to do Conda create. We are going to give it a name. I'm going to call it synth-env. And I'm also going to specify the Python version that I want in this environment, which is 3.9. If you see on our repo right now, what is supported is 3.9 and 3.10. So be careful when specifying your Python version. So I'm also adding pip so that I can install uh, why data synthetic through pip. First things first, our um, environment gets created, okay? This, um, after this, we are going to activate it and start the pip installation. Okay, just say yes. This new package is, needs to be installed. We're going to wait just a little bit. And okay, so let me just clear console. And now we are going to activate the environment we just created. So conda, sorry, activate synth now. All right, you can see here the change to the environment instead of the base default. And now we're going to do pip install by data synthetic. I'm going to specify the version as well, which is 1.0.0. Okay. So this is going to start installing our package in the specific environment. Okay. And I'm going to show you how you can add this um, environment to your PyCharm editor um, and use a simple configuration example to start running by data synthetic. Nice. So we have our package already. So if you want to check all packages that your environment uh, has installed, you can just go on the list. Okay. And it will list all packages that you have. You can see here. Why did the synthetic and version install through PyP? Okay, so let me clear this. And now we are ready to add this to our PyCharm uh, editor. I'm going to create a new project here. And I'm going to choose a Python interpreter, which is the one that we have previously configured. So I'm going to add here the synthetic environment we just created. I'm going to create. It opens up a new project. It will probably add like the custom file it usually generates. I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. And I am going to um, our repo again. I'm going to choose some example from the examples file. So probably a regular tabular data synthesizer. Check the models. I'm going to choose this CityGAN example with the adult data set. I'm just going to copy paste all of this into my Python editor. I'm going just to make a few changes. Otherwise, this would take a long time to run the model. I'm going to change the epochs just for one. I don't need to save or load the model again. And I'm going to say that I just want 10 synthetic samples. Okay, so should be okay. Let's run it. If everything goes well, there should be a warning about the TensorFlow because TensorFlow is supposed to be fast. So it will explain that it, it will try to make use of your CPU to make things even faster. And after this, we'll see our synthetic samples printed uh, here on the editor. There you go. Our synthetic samples just arrived. If you want to experiment with other models, feel free to do so. If you run into any trouble, please check out our Discord server. We answer all questions, either theoretical or troubleshooting in there. Uh, I'm going to leave the link on the description as well. And I see you on the other side.